Hi everyone, the camera I want to review today is the Soviet made Zenit 12 XP. The Zenit 12 XP was a single lens reflex camera released in the Soviet Union before the Zenit 122. It was produced between 1983 and 1994, so it's easy to find it on eBay or second hand shops. To use this camera you will need 35mm film which is still wildly available in the market. To open the film door pull up the rewind knob and the back will pop out. Then put in the film canister. Be careful not to touch the shutter. Then put the film lead into the pickup spool. Remember to put it correctly or the film will not move. Now wind the film lever. Click the shutter and repeat three or four times. That also means that the first few shot are exposed and cannot be reused. To check is the film moving. Check does the rewind knob move as you wind the lever. To change shutter speed. Move the small black dial on top of the camera. There are six shutter speeds to choose from. Now set the film count. To, to set the film count move the tiny ring on top of the winding lever to zero. The Helios 44M-4 lens is a standard lens for single lens reflex cameras. It is considered to be one of most mass produced lenses in the world. Here is the details. There are two rings in the lens, one controls the aperture, one controls focus. The lens is a two-step lens, which means you need to trigger the mechanism to control the aperture. Here is how it works. The camera body clicks that tiny button when you half click the shutter. After you half click the shutter it you can freely move it around. To focus, just move the first ring. You have to be at least half a meter away to focus something correctly. To screw the lens in or out, just screw counterclockwise. Note that this camera only take M32 mount lens. Unless you have a lens adapter otherwise you can't fit any other non-M32 lens. To focus, turn the first ring any direction to make the image in the viewfinder sharper. It doesn't have any help at all just a screen that gets sharper when you're in focus. There's also a common issue with zenits, where there's a line in the middle of the viewfinder. That line is caused by the foam and glue leaking from the prism viewfinder. It doesn't affect the image, but it could get in the way when focusing. To preview the aperture half click the shutter button, and you will see the depth of view preview. To use the self timer, first cock the shutter or wind the lever, next pull down the self timer as far as you can. Then you will see a V button. That means you have to half click and turn the shutter. Push half of the shutter button and turn it though the V sign as pointed. Now the aperture mechanism is activated you can now use the self timer. To activate the self timer click the black button on top of the V sign. Then wait for 10 seconds. In the self timing process do not touch any buttons. The shutter will eventually fire. Then you can cock the shutter and the camera is back to normal mode. Remember to turn the V button back to normal. 
After finishing the film the lever will stuck, do not force it or you will rip the film apart. What you have to do is click the button under the shutter release button. And use the rewind knob to rewind the camera. This may take a while. Then there would be a click sound that means that the film is finished back to the canister. Now open the back door, make sure you actually finish putting the film back to the canister. Now you need to develop the film in a lab. After finish ruining make sure to wind the lever a few times, cause the shutter will reset. The Zenit 12XP have a hot shoe, which means you can attach a flash with hot shoe features. If you use older flashes you can use the flash sink. It also uses a 1 out of 4 tripod mount. Now you understand the basics of this camera. Thanks for watching see you next time.